Hello and welcome students who are taking math for business and finance and math applications. Uh, we're going in this series of videos, we're going to work on the chapter seven drill problems, the odd number problems that are assigned to you in your study guide. And but before we get started, um, I'd like to talk about the theory videos just for a second. Uh, in doing these problems, you, you do really kind of have to understand the theory. Now, when you're watching those theory videos, um, I didn't give many examples. I just talked about the theory. So this is the practical application of that theory. So, you know, if you if you don't understand discounts um, and the different concepts, then go back and watch those videos and doing this practical application will make a lot more sense. I mean, I'll try to incorporate the theory while I'm doing some of these here problems. Um, I feel that there's really not that many problems. Uh, then again, to, to cover all of that theory, but I mean, everything's covered, but you know, as far as a lot of practice is concerned, and unless you have it uh, down underneath your belt um, and you've done a lot, a lot of problems, you might not uh, fully integrate the, the theory. So go back and watch the theory. And like I said, I'll try to incorporate some of that theory while I'm doing the problems. Also, you know, feel free to pause the video, back it up and watch it again if you have to. And if you have any questions, you know, don't hesitate uh, to call a telephone an instructor or contact us. Okay. All right. So with that said, um, let's move on to the, to the slides and the problems. Okay. So Let's see here, uh, for drill problems 7-1 one, and 7-3, you know, it just says complete the following. So we're given uh, the, let me get my pen here. We're given the item, um, we're given the list price, and we're given the chain discount. Then we're asked to find the net price equivalent rate, the single equivalent rate, and the equivalent discount rate, how much is the trade discount and how much is the net price? So the net price equivalent rate and the single equivalent discount rate are going to be in decimal format. And I'm taking those out to uh, four decimal places. Okay. And the trade discount and the net price obviously are going to be in dollar amounts, dollar and cent amounts. Okay. All right. So, um, well, since we're going to start here with 7-1, and I'm going to be working on the bottom half of this uh, slide and erasing as necessary. I'm not going to open up a new slide and try to be copying stuff down because I could work through each one here and then um, and erase as I need space. Okay, so uh, when it came to when it comes to a chain discount, remember. Um, and this, this here is just as a, a quick example. I could do it the long way. I could take the 599 and then multiply it by uh, 0.97. Okay, where did I get the 0.97 from? Well, my chain discount is 3% and then 1%. So 3% from 100 is 97%. And 97% in a decimal form is 0 0.97. So I can do that math and come up with a dollar amount here. Okay, and then I can think about the last half of the chain discount and multiply that by 0 0.99. Okay, again, 1% from 100% is 99%. In decimal form, it's 0 0.99. And I could do the math, and then I'll know I'll have some figure that would be how much I'm going to have as a net price. Okay, so let's just call this net price. So I'm going to have my, then I would have my list price of 599 and I would subtract my net price in order to find out what my discount is. Right? Now, this is the long way of doing it. Okay, and remember I had said I prefer not to do the long way. Um, you know, there's only two, uh, two percentages here. But when you start doing three percentages and more, it takes a lot longer to be doing this. Okay. So there is the shorter method, which is the net equivalent rate. Okay. And 
basically what that is is, well, if we know that um, 3%, the uh, complement to that is 97%, we just multiply the 97% by the, uh, the complement of 1% is the 99%. Okay? Or I could have written that as 0 0.97 times 0 0.99 and that would give me uh, 0 0.9603 when I multiply 0 0.97 times 0 0.99. Okay, so that ends up being my net price equivalent rate. So that's 0 0.9603. Right? Much easier, much quicker to get to that percentage because now I can take that 0 0.9603 and multiply that by my list price of 599 and that will give me my net price of $575.22. Okay, so that's 575.22. Okay. Uh, so you see how much less confusing it is um, uh, to be able to do it this way. And then of course I just take the 599 and I subtract the 575 22 and I end up with um, let's see that's 78 and that's 23 right I end up with twenty three dollars and78 cents which would be my trade discount amount okay so here's my list price less my net price gives me on my discount amount right or I could do it the other way or now that I know that my discount my trade discount amount, I could take the 599 and subtract the 2378, and that would give me the 57522, which is my net price. Okay, and as far as the single equivalent discount rate is concerned, right? Well, that's the complement, the opposite of my net price equivalent rate. Okay, so meaning if I take one. Okay, 1.0, and then I subtract the 0 0.9603, I end up with 0 0.0397, okay, as my single equivalent discount rate. All right, so I'm going to... Um, erase all of these numbers here okay um, and then I'm going to kind of show the relationship that we have here between these discounts and uh, and the amounts uh, the percentages and the and the dollar amounts themselves and remember I had said that this here is very similar to what we went over in chapter six, you know, with percents and their applications, you know, back in that chat, you know, as the theory video, I had said, let's take a hundred dollars and like, um, and say 20%, okay, as a discount. Well, this is the same, we're talking about the same thing, a discount. The only thing that is different is, is that we have a chain discount, meaning, you know, I'm going to take uh, 3%, which would have I could have said three percent is instead of this twenty percent here. Okay. But we all, once we have the three percent, now I'm also going to take an additional one percent. Well, we have to figure out how much that amount is. But to keep the numbers simple here, I'm gonna go back to the twenty percent just to show the relationship. Okay, so if that's twenty percent, we know that. 20% from 100% is 80%, right? And of course, 20% of 100 is $20. And $20 from $100 is $80, okay? So you can see, you know, the equivalency here, okay, between the two. And all we have is, is a net, uh, you know, our selling price, okay, our list price. And then we have our discount amount. And then we end up with our net price, right? You know, just like when you go in the store and you buy a sweater, 
you know, you start out with, uh, you know, you buy that hundred dollar sweater at 20% off, you know, you're going to be charged 80, $80 and plus tax, right? So you're going to end up paying $80 in tax on that. That 6% is like $4 and 80 cents. So you're going to end up paying 84, 80 for that sweater, right? Well, this is no different. Um, let's, let's draw this out in a picture format a little bit better. Okay. You know, here we have a circle, obviously, and a circle, and let's call this dollars, and let's call this percents. Okay. Well, if I have a hundred dollars here, okay, well, that's a, remember, these are the same. Okay, it just we're showing it in a different format, dollars versus percentages. So this is 100%. And if I take out a discount of 20%, I'm sorry, let me do it over here. If I take out a discount of 20%, that means I have remaining 80% here. Okay, so if I have 20% of 100, that's $20. That means I have $80 left here. Okay, same thing. Well, what are we doing with these figures? Okay, let me draw the circle, draw the circle. Right. These are dollars and these are percents. And remember, we're talking about an Apple iPad. Okay, so this is, this is the same exact thing. It's just we're looking at it from a different perspective. Both of these represent the same Apple iPad but we're looking at one from a dollar perspective and another one from a percentage perspective. So if this iPad as a list price is $599, well, that means that's 100%. You know, it costs 100% for that Apple iPad. Right? When we take into consideration our chain discounts, right, that's going to be this little sliver here, okay, and that's going to be this 0 0.0397 or 3.97%. Uh, okay. Right there. And then, of course, the remaining amount is the 0 0.9603. If I take that two places over, that's 96.03%. Okay. Well, in dollar figures, I shouldn't have gotten rid of that. This here is um, 0 0.0397, which is the same as, that's a decimal. So in percentage wise, we move the decimal over two places. So we have 3.97%. And this here is 0 0.9603 is a decimal, and we move the decimal place over, so this is 96.03%. Okay. Well, in dollar figures, that means this here is $23.78, and this remaining amount is $575.22. Okay. So hopefully you can see that relationship between the dollars and the percents. And like I said, you know, we're, we're just talking about discounts and this is no different than what we did in chapter six. So if you did all of the work in chapter six, you know, this work should be relatively easy with the, ex with the exception of having to deal with the, these here chain discounts. Okay. Um, a discount on top of a discount on top of a discount. And the fact that now we're going to, call things a little bit different okay we're not going to just say this is a percent of that or that's a percent of that now we're giving these specific names because of having to deal with more than one discount okay so that was 7-1 um, i'm going to stop the video here and come back for 7-3 and i won't spend so much time on the explanation for 7-3 okay so in the next video i'll see you then